There's a person on this list that wrote a physics formula 350 pages long. I ain't reading that shit. Top six. Smartest people alive. <laughs> bunch of dorks. So obviously smart is subjective, but these are six of the most brilliant minds that are still alive today. And I just wanna put it out there that I fully understand everything I'm about to talk about. Number six. Marilyn Voss Savant. This woman's last name actually means person of learning. And names don't lie. That's why they named Mig Kelly, cause it's pretty. When Marilyn was 10 years old, she took an IQ test. An average IQ is between 85 and 114. Einstein's is 160. Mine is similar, but Marilyn's, she clocked in at 228. Holy cow. The highest you're supposed to be able to score is 170, except for the fact that they take into account the mental age you should be. So basically as a 10 year old, Marilyn hit the jackpot. I want a high IQ daddy, it's not fair. She took another test as an adult. And remember how the highest should be 170? She got 186, so she's smarter than you. Fine, and me. Number five. Oh, Saul is a Princeton philosopher and a distinguished logician. I want a logician on my birthday, Daddy. It's not fair. N incorrect. So yeah, he may look like Santa Claus in the Bahamas, but I promise he's really smart. By the time he was six, he had taught himself ancient Hebrew. And by the time I was six, I had taught myself how to style Barbie's hair with Elmer's. He won the shock prize for logic and philosophy. Modal logic, to be exact. Modal logic is like statements with variables. Like it's simple if you say, Kelly loves Miley, which is really true. But then it gets more complicated when things change. Like Kelly sometimes loved Miley, especially after wine. I love you, Miley. He also wrote this really important book called Naming and Necessity. And it talks about how proper nouns affect the philosophy of language, which I totally get every word of. Duh. Number four. Manahal Tabat. When she was 25, this woman became the youngest person to ever get a financial engineering PhD magna cum laude. I want a PhD in financial engineering, daddy. It's not then she got a second PhD in quantum mathematics. That's math. But her big breakthrough was in outer space. So before her, the only way to measure distance in space was by comparing it to how fast light travels. I know what you're thinking. What about dark matter that eats light? It really fucks with your calculation. I know, because I've been calculating things. And so she did me a solid and she came up with this Formula? Yeah, we couldn't fit the whole thing because it's 350 pages long. Holy moly, needle. That's roughly the length of the highly educational novel, Fifty Shades of Grey. Number three. Grigory Perlman. This guy is like my personal hero. Eyebrows on fleek. So in 2000, the Clay Mathematics Institute made a list of seven problems that no one had ever solved and promised a million dollars for each solution. One of them was Poincare. 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 Conjecture, which people have been trying to prove for a hundred years. So so this problem has to do with spheres. Two-dimensional, three-dimensional, and four-dimensional. To solve it, a person would have to do calculations on a dimension that humans can't even imagine. Most humans. Apparently his answer was like so weird that no one had ever even thought of it. Wow. So yay, he gets a million dollars. But when they tried to give him the cash, he wouldn't take it. You're pretty dumb for a smart guy. He reportedly said, I know how to control the universe. Why would I run to get a million? Tell me with your dumb ass. I'm not dumb, okay? I'm just as smart as you. <laughs> Number two. My glasses just broke. Edelbean. White hair. So this dreamboat's been described as the most brilliant physicist of his generation. Holy Toledo. And this dreamboat's been described as looking like Michael Jackson's corpse. So, thanks guys. I'm moonwalking. He hasn't just busted open one conjecture or aced one IQ test. He's all over the place, making crazy contributions to all different fields of science. String theory, the idea that instead of being made of little dots, things are made up of little tiny lines. Quantum gravity, how much tiny shit weighs. And supersymmetry, perfectly symmetrical things like this sweet, sweet face. Boom. Edward even made up his own theory called M theory, which brings together all the different ideas of string theory. I made up my own theory called K theory it's the first letter of my name and that's as far as I got, but I'll get back to you. And number one. Stephen Hawking. You knew it was gonna be Stephen Hawking. You knew. I knew better. So Stephen's the theoretical physicist that's done like the coolest work with black holes and relativity. Also, he's pretty much famous for just being like the most brilliant man alive. And he has the awards to prove it. Whoa. It takes like a certain type of brilliance to be able to explain like these crazy difficult theories to the average Joe. That's one of the reasons his book, A Brief History of Time, was a bestseller for 237 weeks in a row. Whew. Wowee! And he almost never even wrote the book. He was diagnosed with motor neuron disease at the age of 21 and he got like super depressed and he almost gave up his studies. I want the neuron. I 
don't want that. Lucky for everyone, his girlfriend supported him and he kept going. And now he's alive and well, explaining the universe and winning Oscars for Eddie Redmayne. He's quoted as saying, When one's expectations are reduced to zero, one really appreciates everything one does have. Oh my god, Steven, your mouth works. To show you what else works, fine ass. Uh, top six! All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm Kelly Landry and you're smarter than you were, but not as smart as people on this list. Unless you're Stephen Hawking and you're watching this. Oh my God. <laughs> Manahal Tibet. Manahal Tabat. Manahara no pronounce the name. Of. I know how to control the universe. Why would I run to get a million? Tell me. Can I have the million? No, bitch. Please? You have my backhand. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm the asshole. I went too far. <laughs> String theory. Okay. <laughs> That's as far as I got. Well, I uh, want to Stephen Hawking. Why can't I just...